Cassandra Cake, or Cassie, as her friends called her, was killed on December 11, 2014. She was only 31 years old, and she was pregnant. From a personal standpoint, this is one of the most disturbing crime scenes that I have seen in my 28 years of policing. Grizzly details that came to light this past January, after Matthew Brush, now 29, pled guilty to second-degree murder and arson. He killed Cassie and he murdered her daughter. Jeff Durham was the father of Cake's unborn child, Molly. Durham told CTV News he couldn't bear to sit through the court proceedings. Every uh, life lost is tragic. Um, the circumstances of this one were particularly brutal. Crown attorney Belinda Pagliaroli's main piece of evidence in the case was Brush's video statement to police. It lasted more than 11 hours and didn't end until Brush confessed to the crime. Brush says he let himself into Cake's apartment that night when she wasn't home. He says when she came home and caught him naked and masturbating in her room, Brush panicked. He told police he choked Cake until she passed out. In his video statement, Brush said to the detective, I figured I should finish her off. I really wasn't thinking. Brush admitted that he cut off all of the woman's fingertips, lit her body on fire and fled. It was one of those fingertips that was a damning piece of evidence. Court heard Brush ask police in the video, incredulous, did I really leave a fingertip behind or are you just messing with me? Forensic evidence showed Brush's DNA was under Cake's fingernails. We had argued for 20 uh, years of parole and eligibility. The judge decided 22, so I don't think I want to say anything more than that. I have to think about it. Before he was taken to prison, Matthew Brush provided no reason for his actions. He said to Cake's family, she deserved so much better than the fate she received at my hands. He made sure that our daughter was dead. He set fire to her. Molly was a person to me and Cassie. And this isn't justice. Matthew Brush is serving a life sentence in prison. He won't even be eligible to apply for parole until 2037. In Windsor, Michelle Molesky, CTV News.